Many people seem to wonder, if I accept Jesus at the last possible moment, will I still go to heaven? The short answer is, it depends. Stick around to the end of this video to see why this is playing with fire and how you can be sure that you are saved. Let's see what the Bible has to say about this. For the kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out early in the morning to hire workers for his vineyard. He agreed to pay them a denarius for the day and sent them into his vineyard. About nine in the morning, he went out and saw others standing in the marketplace doing nothing. He told them, You also go and work in my vineyard, and I will pay you whatever is right. So they went. He went out again about noon and about three in the afternoon and did the same thing. About five in the afternoon, he went out and found still others standing around. He asked them, Why have you been standing here all day doing nothing? Because no one has hired us, they answered. He said to them, You also go and work in my vineyard. When evening came, the owner of the vineyard said to his foreman, Call the workers and pay them their wages, beginning with the last ones hired and going on to the first. The workers who were hired about five in the afternoon came and each received a denarius. So when those came who were hired first, they expected to receive more. But each one of them also received a denarius. When they received it, they began to grumble against the landowner. These who were hired last worked only one hour, they said, and you have made them equal to us who have borne the burden of the work in the heat of the day. But he answered one of them, I am not being unfair to you, friend. Didn't you agree to work for a denarius? Take your pay and go. I want to give the one who was hired last the same as I gave you. Don't I have the right to do what I want with my own money? Or are you envious because I am generous? So the last will be first, and the first will be last. Clearly, even if people come to Jesus late in life, they'll be granted everlasting life. But is there any example of people doing this at the very last moment and being guaranteed that they'll go to heaven? There was a written notice above him which read, This is the king of the Jews. One of the criminals who hung there hurled insults at him. Aren't you the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other criminal rebuked him. Don't you fear God, he said, since you are under the same sentence? We are punished justly, for we are getting what our deeds deserve. But this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus answered him, Truly, I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. But is it a good idea to count on this? Absolutely not. There are a few reasons why. The first reason is true faith. If you plan it, it's not likely true faith which you need to be saved. God is not a fool. He can't be tricked or manipulated. Many people want to live as gods of their own lives and none of us can save ourselves. Second reason is rewards. While Christians do not face judgment of heaven or hell, we do sit on the judgment seat of Christ and those who squander their lives will sincerely miss out on everlasting rewards. You want these rewards and you don't want them to be thrown away or wasted just to have a better life on earth. The third reason is calling. God has a special calling for every person and the amount to which it's fulfilled is based on how much you seek him with your life and live according to his ways. Now more than ever, this world needs to see Christians representing Jesus faithfully. The fourth reason is no one knows the day or the hour. The Bible reveals that Jesus will come back in a day and a time where you don't expect him. Whether this is in our lifetime or not doesn't really matter because everyone's going to leave this earth at some time and you might not know that time. You could suddenly meet God and then what are you going to say to him? I'm sure that by now many people have gone to Judgment Day planning to have repented later on but not getting that chance due to a sudden accident or unforeseen circumstance. So why wait? You can start living your true calling today or encourage others to do so. To know that you're truly saved today, just remember A, B, C, A, ask God for forgiveness from all the bad things you've done in your life and turn from them. B, believe Jesus rose from the dead on the third day after his crucifixion. And C, confess Jesus as your Lord and Savior publicly and without shame. If you're already a Christian, remember how to tell this to people who want to be saved. After you've decided to do this, you should receive a baptism in water and also the baptism of the Holy Spirit by the laying on of hands to walk in the fullness of your calling. Why wait till your last breath to start living when you can start right here, right now?